Oh, right there, you're bad. <laughs> Hooky. That's not me. If you're bugging to bag a bug, you've called Bugger Bagger. This is Billy Baggins, owner and wholesaler. How can I help you? I have something in my house. I don't know if you'll believe me. I've seen things that would mustard gas an unborn fetus in a kangaroo's baby pouch. I've made a batch of crazy, stirred it, and served it to unsuspecting hornets at a nine-year-old's birthday party in 011. Believe me, I've seen. All right, maybe you are the right guy for this. The clown didn't make it. I I'm sorry, what? At the birthday party, he didn't make it out. So what kind of critters do you have? Termites? Cockroaches? Bigger? Rats? Mm, bigger? Raccoons? Not that big. Oh. Looks like I'm taking the job. Why is that? You've intrigued me. Maybe I should tell you what it is first. I'm all ears. I was attacked by what I believe to be a gnome. The infamous Gnomus Sutorius? A what? I'll be right over. Wait a minute, you don't even know where I live. Hello? Hello? You, John? Yeah, how did you know? Caller ID, Billy Baggins. And where I live? We're neighbors. I moved in last week. Haven't put the sign up yet. I apologize. Neighbor? Okay. Are you uh, sure you can handle this? I have a license to hunt unicorns in Michigan. If you could kindly step outside, neighbor. Good idea. You thought you could get away, didn't ya? What? Is daddy treating you poorly? I give you all a Nomus Sartorius could ask for. Clean water? Dirty magazines. And all the TV you can watch. We all know who's in charge here, don't we? Yeah, don't we? You remember what this is, don't you? That's right. Just a little something to make you go night night. Where was it when you first eluded my grasp? Ha ha! It was that English town with the cobblestone streets. A damn good pizza there. But you couldn't have been more than a child when I first found you. And my, how you've grown. We used to be so happy. Just the two of us, until you accidentally drank that pipe cleaner. I am calling it an accident. I couldn't even begin to fathom why something would jeopardize their house privileges.
Mr. Baggins, <laughs> what the hell happened in here? <laughs> I swear if something creepy jumps out at me, I'm gonna kick the ever living life out of you. Wake up right now. Billy, come on, this isn't funny. What happened in here? Come on! <coughs> Billy! <coughs> Billy! <laughs> Think you're funny, don't you? Huh? Think you're funny? Am I naked? Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sure you and I can be real pals. You can find me on Snapchat. What, Billy ran away? Well, you're not gonna get rid of me that quick. You hear me, gnome? You little bastard! and find you passed out again. A train could come through here and you'd still be passed out. Well, I would have waited at the door for you because I gave you your keys back, but since it was open, I figured I'd just let myself in and get my stuff. Is that okay with you, Johnny? That's what I thought. What have you been doing in here? What is that smell? It smells like, like something died. No, you don't understand. It was his gnome. He took you my clothes off. I can't believe I ever dated you. What was I you thinking? Believe me, don't you, you Gloria? Done that Gloria, to me, you he, sick. He wrote over my face. You are Gloria, sick. Gloria. Sick. And I never want to speak to you again. Come on. <laughs> ah, no, no. Gloria. 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 Already, wake up! Wake up! Hey! Hey! I thought I saw a norm. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I knew that would get you up. <laughs> what time is it? I don't care. You're getting out today. It's a celebration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's about time, too. Hey, I'm going to miss you, buddy. <laughs> Frank loves you. Oh, uh, yeah. Frank yeah, loves uh, you. That's enough. Okay, Frank. <sighs> oh, I got something for you. Oh, I can't wait. <sighs> what is it? It's for you. Open it. Wow. That's, that's you, John. Uh -huh. That's me, Frank. Okay. That, that's the norm. Uh-huh. And that's the quack doctor. Ah. Uh oh, yeah, okay. And Susan. <laughs> I got a question on her. <laughs> oh, that, that's a mushroom. Well, this is your best one yet, Frank. Oh, you were taunted. But I love you anyway. <laughs> Even as much as I love quants. You know I got to get my life back, Frank. Okay. I tell you what. When I get out and when I get back home, I'm going to send you something really nice, okay? Will we? Wow! A six-pack of beer? Better than beer. Better than beer? Yeah! You better hurry up and wake up! <laughs> huh? You better hurry up and wake up, John! You better wake up already! Wake up, you fool whoop! Wake up already! <gasps> John! You alive in there, boy? <sighs> Thought you wanted to get out of here. You're late for a meeting. Coming. John. John? John. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. You still see gnomes? Gnome? I mean, no. Hmm. You gonna beat up cops? I don't plan to. Get the hell out of here. Well, go on. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. I won't forget it. Hey, have a nice day. I was gonna get your mail. But since you didn't give me your permission, I didn't want to break the law. You know, I've been waiting for you to get home. We have some unfinished business. And you're the only person that can be involved. So, how was prison? It wasn't prison. It was a clinic. But it made me realize I'm not the craziest person in this world. And especially this neighborhood! So, is that a yes? What? Leave your mail. Come inside. I have answered.
answers that you need to hear. carried off in that paddy wagon. Uh, the officer questioned me later as to why I was tied up on your bathroom floor. <laughs> I denied the truth. <laughs> I told him that you had claimed to me that you were protecting civilization from an unimaginable race of little people. <laughs> oh, you knocked me out cold. I went unconscious, and I awoke, dazed, only wanting to return to work, with me not pressing charges of kidnapping. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, that's neighborly of you. <laughs> Billy, is that my house? Ah, yes. Good eye. Infestation is the number one threat to homeowners in today's times. Last few months, you've had quite a buildup. Couple of rats, family of mice, 1.7 pounds of ants, and a dead squirrel. Can you spare me this? Uh oh. Right, 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 right. Off the subject, off the subject. All of those petty details are with my invoice. I sent it to you a few... Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Why the hell did that gnome ruin my life, Billy, huh? Because of Gloria and the judicial system and you. I got thrown in the nut house. I will never forget what he did to me. Hmm. So you got a prison tat. This was on my forehead when I woke up naked. Duck butter. Huh? Naked? Uh, he must have really hated you. Or really like you. Va, va, boo! I have had enough! I'm to blame! He escaped from me that night. Snuck into your house. Looking for comfort and security. But you must have scared him. So he felt threatened. He's gone AWOL, John. The Nomus Sutorius. Was my pet. What the hell is it? Nomus the Sir. Nomus Sutorius! An interesting question, John. And I know exactly the right woman you can ask. Who? Gilda Weistein. A woman of genius. A master of theories and delights. The most credited expert on UFOs, conspiracies, paranormal, psychic ability, ancient mythology, including one known as Sutorius. And apparently a scholar of the 710 split. Yes, she's an entrepreneur in the sporting arts, but she's more famous than Bigfoot's hangnail. Are you sure it's a good idea to drop it in like this? She still makes time for very close acquaintances. <clears throat> Billy Baggins for Gilda. Who? Billy Baggins. 
I retrieved the baby possum three years ago from the latrine. Remember me now? Oh, that Billy Baggins with a beard. Oh, I'll let Gilda know you're here. <laughs> Never read shoes from a bowling alley. I use double socks with the grip bottoms. Try it. It'll raise your average by five pins. Hey, Billy! Come on back. She can't wait to see you. <laughs> Gilda! No. It can't be. Is it really you? I thought I told you a long time ago that I didn't want to see your diseased face so close to mine. And is it just me or have you gotten uglier? Who? Sounds like you missed me. I came here to pay my respects. You see, I thought I was too late. But, to my mistake, here you are, outliving Father Time, as some kind of deranged lab rat, unable to find the cheese. Tell me, Billy. How is the entrepreneur life treating you? Receiving good dental, I hope? Why don't you give me those dragon lips and find out? Whoa, hey, well, I thought you two were friends. Billy, aren't you going to introduce me to your girlfriend? <laughs> so glad to see you haven't lost your sense of humor. If I may intervene for one moment, John and I are actually here on business, not pleasure. So keep your dentures in, princess. Cut the shit, Billy. If you don't start rectifying why you chose to violate my bowling alley after your termination, I'll use your face as my new ball dryer. You always knew how to make a man feel special. Go ahead, John. Ask her. Finally. Okay, so what do you know about gnomes? The Gnomus Satorius? Don't tell me. You came to see me about Gnomus Satorius? You know I am perfectly capable of capturing that capering creature. Who said anything about capturing? Guys? You're reckless and irresponsible. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Hello? Hey! Gnomus Satorius! What is it? Allow me to tell you a story, my dear. <laughs> During the Renaissance, there were claims of small critters that would visit families. They would live in harmony where they would play pranks on naughty adolescents. At the end of the 16th century, a German shoemaker and his wife were visited by the very same. They took him in, they cared for him, all was well, until rumors plagued the nearby villages of a magical gnome. Well, some of this may sound familiar, like 
Right from a fairy tale? The elf of a shoemaker, right? And I thought you only went for the blonde ones. Correct, dear. But elves and gnomes are more alike than you know. And what the fairy tale didn't tell was the real story. The gnomes' powers had reached as far as Russia, where Ivan the Terrible had sent a small army to find and capture the potential solution for his declining health. When Ivan's men found the shoemaker and his wife, they did not find the gnome. So they slaughtered the couple in cold blood. All his men found was a small shirt being sewn by his wife. There was a myth that Gnomus Sartorius, the gnome of a shoemaker, was responsible for Ivan's demise some years later. Revenge is a tremendous feat, no matter how small you are. Let me warn you, both of you, that if you have danced on the wrong side of the gnome, revenge will not lead you to salvation. You see, a gnome can live as long as half a century times ten. Compared to us, they have all the time in the world. So, waiting in the shadows for just the right moment to strike is exactly what they do. Thanks for the history lesson. What would be great is information that could help us in the future. <laughs> Why should I help you? Please, if you could... I know a certain book written by a particular princess under false pretense, which in turn made her very famous. It would be a shame if her blogger fanatics found out the truth of her smoke and mirror. <laughs> Are you trying to blackmail me, my dear boy? Go ahead. They would never believe you. But... Since I know that all of your attempts will fail miserably, I'll give you all that I can. As long as you promise one thing, I will never see your face again. Well, easy, he'll do it. A source of mine found some intriguing evidence a couple of days ago. These were taken at a nearby field just north of here. A hunter had a motion camera on his property. Fascinating. Well, as you can see, your premonitions were correct. And the eye of your prey? <laughs> just maybe closer than you think. Kind of looks like an animal. It's a gnome, dear. We need to know where he is heading. Almost like a deer. It's not a deer, it's a gnome. The gnome are very magical creatures. Any gnome would have a home, a sweet home. It's where I would go if I were such a gnome. Of course, they have gotten smarter since the days of Ivan. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, nature persistently calls. Ooh. 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 An ass of a deer. It looks like an ass of a deer. It's not a deer. It's a gnome. Well, it kind of looks like a deer butt. Get out. Jeez. You don't have to be so defensive. Nut job. I want that gnome. It sounds like Billy already knows where to start looking. Oh, he knows. Get what we need, Jasmine. Help them with their quest. 
and then get rid of them as soon as you know exactly where to go. This is the find of the century. <laughs> we'll make millions parading that small freak around the globe. And everyone will pay to see. Don't worry, Mother. I know exactly what to say. I'll call you when I'm close. <sighs> That's my little girl. Bigger balls than her mother. <laughs> Where are we going anyways? That's for me to know. And for you to know when we get there. Ugh. Ugh. Hideous. In a hurry? Hey, do I know you? Yeah, kinda. Kinda hard to miss a guy like you coming in here without any intention to knock a few pins around. Really? Well, what else you know about me? Would like to know about me? Or maybe just know me? Don't listen to her, John. <laughs> she can't be trusted. Jasmine here is as sticky as flypaper. I would like to know where you're going. Uh, fat chance, seed beast of Gilda. Hey, hold on a minute there, Billy. Maybe Jasmine is it? Maybe Jasmine could give us some more information about our journey, yeah? The only journey you'll be on is a slippery slope into a web of deceit. Stranded on an island of fools, if you for one second think that you can trust her. <laughs> Billy, come on. Haven't you ever had fun with an attractive woman? Watch. You know, your timing is impeccable. I've been looking for someone like you. You know, I just got out of a bad relationship seven months ago. He was in prison. Billy! <laughs> I wasn't in prison. Prison, huh? Got any tattoos? Ah, no, actually, no, 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 actually. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a shame. Maybe you'll surprise me in other ways. Look, Billy, here's the deal. I'll give you whatever information you want to help you in whatever you may be up to. Because we both know what you're after can be a lot more dangerous than what I can be. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. What is it that you want in return? I'm driving. In all my years, she's the only mammal I've encountered that is immune to poison. I've tried. Twice. Well, we all pick our poisons, Billy. Shotgun! You guys want to listen to the radio or something, or are you just going to keep staring at me? AM, I'm not a fan of music. Oh, come on, you have to like some music. Not one song. He's not lying. Billy here doesn't like a single musical note. Not even the happy birthday song, do you, Billy? Especially the happy birthday song. Still having nightmares, are we? Whoa, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, huh? I have to ask. How do we know each other? Hmm. You two didn't date, did you? Barf. You mean you haven't told him yet, Billy? <sighs> Billy here used to work for us at the bowling alley. What, about four years ago? Not long enough. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that... Mr. Bugger Bagger used to be Billy Bowling Pin? Hey, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Sorry, Billy. Just trying to know my uh, neighbor better. You two are neighbors? Oh, he's hardly ever there. Right, John. Uh, uh, so what did you do at the uh, bowling alley? Did he clean shoes? <laughs> Janitor. 
Billy the janitor? So, when are you going to tell me where I'm driving? North. Um, how far north? What's the town? North. How long north? Come on, Billy, you can at least tell her that. Go north until I tell you to stop. I have patience, but I might not have enough for you. Hey, I'm trying to help here. I'm not the one who said that I would tell you everything I know. You were. So what do you say, John? You want to start walking from here? Damn it, Billy! Just tell her something, anything! Fine. We're going to see an old friend of mine. Waitress Shirley. She called me a while back about an interesting commodity from my line of work. At least, that's how I saw it. She had a nomisatorius in her house. And while he was young and friendly, it still creeped her out. So I went to investigate. He was a lot more trusting back then. I captured him and had him in my possession Ever since, I realized the power he had. Used to take him along in a cage to help me eradicate people's homes of unwanted pests. It was a glorious partnership. At least for a while. Then, he tried to escape. As he always tried to do. Whether in freedom or near death. I always nursed him back, or always recaptured him, until he met John. You certainly had an effect on him, that's obvious. See what you get for leaving your windows open? Oh, that's a cute story. Now, the name of the town I'm driving to? Don't be taken by my sudden openness to shut John up. That I suddenly have a soft spot for you. The fact that you are involved is meekly enough. In fact, it's merely a slight inconvenience. Time is of the essence. Drive. I guess that'll do. For now... But you will tell me eventually. Or maybe more? Normal neighbors have pet cats and dogs. The worst thing that they do is pee on your tree. I get a psychotic gnome through the window. Hey, I don't like your tone. I don't like your attitude. You mind pressing on the gas a little harder? Punky. Why are you always in a rush, huh? You already said you think you know where he's going. I want to get there, waiting for him before he gets there. We have almost 300 horsepower. He has seven and a half inch legs. I think we're good. You mock with ignorance. <laughs> ignorance, Billy? <laughs> oh, come on. What's he gonna do? Start hitchhiking? I don't know what it's like working 70 hour weeks hauling trailer after trailer after trailer. <clears throat> the road is my office. Not that this is cushy job like some some desk job, no sir. I mean, you ever had a job where a stranger pulls up next to your cubicle and gives you the business? Yeah, you're right. Asking an obvious question like that doesn't deserve a dignified response. I 
see myself uh, as a captain sailing a steel vessel on charted asphalt on air brakes. I got the window down, the radio up. Kind of a small fellow, ain't you? If you don't mind me saying. I mean, normally I don't uh, pick up passengers. We run in any trouble, you can take that little pointy hat of yours off and just hide underneath the dash. <laughs> Like you could probably fit in that glove box. <laughs> you, uh... You got some real special place to go, don't you? You got family up north, do you? Yet? No. What do you mean, no? Well, I don't What know. have you been doing all this time? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I sent you because I thought that this was something that you could take care of for me. Mother. What have you been doing? No way. Yes way. Impossible. Almost certainly it's not impossible. It's science. So you're saying cockroaches are zombies? No, no, no. no, no. I did not make that correlation. You did. What I said was that cockroaches are the zombies of bugs. How is that any different? Immensely! No, no. You said that cockroaches, once you cut their heads off, they are going to walk around with their bodies still alive, like a zombie, till the body, like, shrivels up and dies of starvation nine days later. Not like a zombie! A zombie will not die of starvation. A zombie cannot survive without its head. The cockroach infrastructure is science. No, they don't suspect a thing. Billy's more of an idiot than I remember. But he's so... <sighs> difficult. Good grief. You can't afford to push them aside. Or let Billy know that there's anything peculiar going on with you. He's the kind of man that's always looking for a conspiracy. A zombie is created by some harebrained bionic engineering scheme that cannot and will not survive chemical warfare or some other genetic weapon created by some humans in a laboratory somewhere to take over the world. And if it were a zombie apocalypse, the cockroach would survive long after... You made your point. Thank you. Play coy, darling, and salvation shall come to you. I will. I'd be more worried about it if it weren't for his friend. John seems to be quite the perfect distraction. You had better mean a distraction for Billy and not a distraction for you. Now, have you found out yet exactly where he believes the gnome to be? Oh! Human. Make. Virus. Virus. Make zombie. Zombie. Eat. Human. Human. Die. Zombie. Have nothing to eat. Zombie. Die. Cockroach. Eat. Zombie. Cockroach. Turn into. Cock. Zombie. No! 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 <laughs> I, I see I, I have no other alternative but to uh, prove this to you using science. <laughs> as soon as we get to English Town, I'm going to find a cockroach and... English Town? That's where we're going is English Town? Damn it. Well, that was an experience. Um, so everything came out okay, huh? Yeah. Good. Good. 
Well, I, I guess it's easier for boys than it is girls. I'm sure. We are in the middle of nowhere, but I found a safe spot behind a bush. I think I'm good. So no uh, cockroaches then, huh? Well, that's good. <clears throat> We're going to a place called English Town, by the way. daughter of one, one who isn't in heat, from the looks of you. So many questions are going through my head right now. With no words to describe them. Ugh. Relax, Buttercup. The sensation you're experiencing is what it must feel like to realize you were wrong. And I was right. Or probably some intermittent shock. Bitch took my cell phone. assume road travel is very dangerous. This isn't the first time I've been left for dead. That's amazing. Do you realize what these lead to? I don't know. Uh, the Temple of Doom? <laughs> no! They lead to towns! <laughs> so do roads. Call me up on phone 
say you got nearly nothing on I'm thinking, boy, am I in luck? It's a Friday night and there's a football game But I got something else on my brain I'ma take you to the lake and show you the bed of my truck Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. I came in here a while back and I had the nicest waitress. I believe her name was, uh, Sheila? Or... Oh, Shirley was her name. Shirley? We have no Sheila. But we do have a Shirley that waitresses for us. She's off today. Oh, shoot. Well, would you be able to tell me the next time she works? It would mean a lot to me if you did. Shirley. She works tomorrow. Lunch. says. The train tracks lead to towns, he says. Well, what do you say now, Billy? <sighs> Into the woods. <sighs> oh, I swear how my memory goes. Blame it on my mother. <laughs> Surely. Older... <laughs> Light, shorter hair. Surely not. Surely young. Surely blonde. Surely attractive. Oh, thank you a million and a half ways. That's all coming back to me now. Miss? Ma'am? Don't you need a table? <laughs> your question if you needed anything I mean it's not my fault if you didn't hear me oh. I asked you if you needed any help of course I asked I asked instinctively <sighs> you looked me right in the eyes and your eyes said John I got this I mean I pretty much thought that you had it and I so whatsoever did not see terror in those eyes. Okay, so what I remember is you were babbling on about how the railroads only go from east to west because of the settler movement. <laughs> and then I said, aren't we supposed to be going north? And it was at that time that you turned around to correct me, to tell me I was wrong. And then all of a sudden, from the other side of the tracks, come these teeth and claws and fur. Out of nowhere. <laughs> and I wasn't worried because you, my friend, you handle these things all the time. Reptilian? Amphibious, equestrian, oh, not bear. Well, I think you did a bang up job. I mean, seriously, dude, you killed a flippin' tiny bear. Like little baby bear. I just hope mama bear doesn't come because if she does, Watch out. Billy Baggins is going to bag himself another bear. <laughs> Hello, it's Gilda. Leave a message. Mother, it's me. I'm very close. Our the dynamic duo is camping in the woods. I'm not sure where our short friend is, but I know who to ask, and I know where she is to be tomorrow. If you leave in the morning, you should be able to make it to my present location. 
Meet me for lunch at a small watering hole by the name of Peggy's. In English town. There you are. Don't worry. Everything is going to be. There you go, man. How oh, could be uh, such a baby? Uh, I was attacked by a wildebeest with claws. Oh, come on. It was a, a puppy dog with a large bark. <sighs> okay. It was a large puppy. <sighs> come on, Billy. You're the man. You beat up a tiny bear. <laughs> he was all like, Why? 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 <laughs> You're the man! I suppose when a man is backed into a corner of limitations, the improbable will prevail. Why can't you talk like a normal guy, huh? Sports? Drink beer? Fart? <laughs> okay, all right. Can you at least tell me what made you, you? Okay, what was the defining moment that made Billy Baggins, Billy Baggins? You wanna know what makes me, me? What makes me not wanna close my eyes at night? Holding someone in your arms who isn't there anymore. Not wanting to let go of someone who had no choice but to let go. I just started exterminating as a side project while still working nights for Gilda. It was the largest swarm I had ever seen and they were staging a circus of chaos. Just because someone has a lot of solve doesn't mean they can run. He never stood a chance with 18-inch shoes. I tried to help, but it was too late. The Hornets had a field day. I always did kind of hate clowns. You know, personally. But I never saw hate like I saw it that day. in the piñata. Mm-hmm. It really was from Mexico, but it didn't get past the FDA. <laughs> it was me. I I ate those last three hot dogs. Hmm? I hope I was good enough for the kids. I'm sorry. Hey, Mr. Clown. Hey. 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 Those bastards. Don't go. He was Go. allergic! No. And they kept stinging. No. And stinging. No. No. And stinging. No. And stinging. No. And stinging. No. And stinging. No. I could have saved him! I could have saved him! But I didn't know what I was doing! And they kept stinging. And stinging. And stinging. And stinging. 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 Excuse you. What? In what I assume was the breaking of wind with your mouth. Huh? Good night.
night, John. You have a long day of walking tomorrow. I'll trust you sleep well. Keep the fire lit to scare off the wilder beast. And keep your mouth farts to yourself. I'm so confused right now. What a day. I'm going to sleep, Billy. Do you mind? Uh, this sucks. You know what really sucks? Fire ants. Good night, John. Make sure they bury me with my nose. <gasps> Places in this before, Billy. <sighs> Billy, yo, Billy. didn't get him. Billy! Good morning, this is News 6 Now. I'm Garrett Reiner. Our top story this morning, the latest on that collision involving a traveling circus caravan. A lion, a tiger, and a bear are still missing. But first, a series of reports overnight of what many people believe to be Bigfoot sightings. Police are advising local residents not to panic, but they are urging that you use caution and not let children or small pets outside unless absolutely necessary, and even then, only under adult supervision. 
Check out this cell phone picture sent to us by Beverly in Princeton County. It looks like a very large, shadowy figure lurking in a nearby wooded area. It does not look like any of the circus animals, but it's hard to tell just what this is. There have been eight sightings reported, and based on the time and place, it suggests this mystery figure could be walking its way right into the vicinity of English Town. Our investigative team went to one of the areas where this was reported and spoke with a witness, a young girl, who reports not only seeing this mysterious creature, but speaking with it. He seemed pretty scary at first, but then he tapped me on the head. Oh my! Were you scared? No. Now even though these animals are performers, they could still pose a threat, even this mysterious shadowy figure. I knew I should have trusted him. Oh, oh man. What else could go wrong? What are you? We have reached out to our civilian correspondent and paranormal expert, Gilda Wiesting. She has yet to return our calls for comment. Stay with Channel 6 News for more updates throughout the morning. Dear sweet Lord Billy, is that you? I ain't seen you in ages. Of course, it looks like you've been wandering through the woods all night. What brings you here? What you been up to? Oh my goodness, I forgot you like to hear about me first. Well, the last time you were here, OMG, that nail is hideous. Anyways, 
Did you need something, Billy? Water. Pitcher. No ice. No lemon. Oh, sure thing, hon. I'll go get that for you right away. You do want a glass with that, right, Billy? Uh, uh. Let me out of here, you red-headed bitch! I hear you out there! I was wondering if you could help me. Is this Peggy's? Didn't you read the sign when you came in? Yes, I did, but I wanted to make absolutely sure that I was in the right place. <laughs> well, if you're in Peggy's, you're in the right place. I'm Peggy. Oh, how do you do, Peggy? I'm looking for a woman. Aren't we all? No, I'm looking for a particular woman. I see. Uh, my daughter. Oh. Well, if that doesn't work, I got you covered. <sighs> well, well, well. Look who's here. Thank you, but no thank you. If it isn't my old friend, Bill. Mm. Frankly, I'm a little surprised to see you here. Concern that my loving daughter is not. I wouldn't be a loving mother if I wasn't. But. Huh. But from the looks of you, I'd say she gave you one hell of a fight. <laughs> oh, what? Rat got your tongue? <sighs> oh, okay, so you're on to my little scheme. Jasmine's good, but she's not her mother. I don't play as nice as she does. She's the beauty. I'm the beast. I know you're looking for a woman. So am I. Just do yourself a favor, introduce us, and... Just maybe I'll cut you in on the deal. Here's your water. Oh my, when a man is thirsty, there is no stopping him. What can I get you, hon? I don't have time. Let me just say, I love the way your hair looks. I try to get volume, but I don't have the body for it. Thank you. I'm Shirley, by the way. Shirley what? Oh, oh <laughs> that's your name. <laughs> oh. <sighs> menus. Waitress, bring us the menus. Sure thing. <laughs> now! I best I better stop jibber jabbering now. Here you are, hon. I'll be right back with those menus. You're looking for a quick thrill. I get that. In fact, I respect that. <laughs> I was kind of flattered that your kin left me for dead. Women have done much worse to me. In fact, much, much worse. But you're nothing more than a mother blogger. At the end of a very bright career. Who's just looking for her last wild goose chase. And if this goose is in this petri dishwater of a town... <laughs> well then, my princess, you'd better learn how to swim. Because you don't even know what you're looking for. And more than that, you don't even have one finger, let alone an upper hand, on this guy. Did somebody step on a walnut? If you don't give me what I want, you're gonna feel like someone just stepped on your walnut. Okay, I get it. 
you don't want to be business partners with me. Now, are you going to take me to the woman I traveled here for? Or do I have to play hardball? Never. Not even if you say, Simon says. I swear, you two are going to have to try the sausage sandwiches. They are special. Leave us alone. Wait a minute. Do you two know each other? Do you know Billy? Do you see me sitting here with him? Do you know Billy? Never seen her. Of course I know this lug. We have a history. It sounds amazing. Now leave us alone. So Billy, what'd you end up doing about that gnome anyway? Honey, I think I will have that sausage sandwich. <sighs> Bring me the pizza. to see why Noma Satori has attached himself to her so easily. Oh, lighten up, Billy. You act like this is the first time a woman has ever laughed at your expense. Oh, oh by the way, speaking of expense, do you hope you intend to pay? This turned out to be a business lunch. <laughs> you mocked me, woman. Though the world has its unique ways of mocking you back. And what will the world do to you, Billy? I haven't the slightest bit of interest in what the world will do to me. I am interested in what the world does to you. And how about John? What about John? <sighs> Intruded upon by a creature he was no match for. Thrown into a mental ward? Drug out onto the road by a lunatic. Abandoned and left for dead in the wilderness by my cruel daughter. Left behind by you. Now you have the decency to say what about John? What did he do to deserve such torture? torture bestowed upon him by your decision. How do you know about this? Where is he? Oh, now you're concerned about him. How neighborly of you, Billy. I have no way of knowing what you have done with Jasmine. But I do know you well enough to know you kept her alive. Let's just make an even trade. Her for him. Oh. And of course, no Missatorius belonging to me as well. After you catch him again. Fine. But we find no Missatorius first. Here you are. I have to go back to 
work. So you two stay here, and I'm going to run to the store to get something to clean out your leg. Holy moly! These cuts are probably severely infected, Billy. You need a hospital. Oh, I don't think so. Merely a flesh wound. <laughs> Scratches, really. Probably from some nearby brush. I'm sure some bandages will do just fine. Oh, good point, good point. I, I, I was in a massive array of, of shrubbery. Uh, boy, uh, I don't know. What do you think, Billy? I'll be fine, Shirley. You heard him? Now, run along. Time is ticking. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh, my, 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 my. You talk about introducing a cow to a gullible. Oh, a little too soon for you to be <sighs> running away, too, don't you think? Look, I have a gallon of water in my bladder. Unless you think I'm going to sit here and sweat it out. Literally. I have to use the latrine. Oh, oh. I spy, uh, nothing. for John. He was so strong. Hmm. Hey. Don't look at me. I didn't know where she was until I saw her here in the kitchen. And to be honest, she did all the dragging on me. Of all the nerve. Attacking a woman and having your way with her. This is unacceptable, Billy. I may be cruel, but that doesn't give you the right to, to treat people as horribly as you wish. How dare you, Billy Baggins? How dare you? I just have one question. What did you do with John? What? If you're so humane, Surely John must be in a reasonably safe place. Uh. So let me ask again. What did you do with John? Yes, you're right. John is absolutely in a safe place. A reasonably safe place? Define reasonable. If I get out of here, I am going to let you know what I am going to do to your entire body, beginning with your face. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to spit on it. I'm going to 
Step on it. I'm back, Billy. We don't have long before she has to leave. And I think it's obvious that Noma Sutorius has made its way home. And by the looks of Jasmine, I think we need to take every precaution. I don't even think Shirley knows. Where are you guys? Billy, you better not be hiding in my closet again. <sighs> long story. Look, Gilda, listen to me. The most important thing we can do is not do anything to provoke it. That is the best thing we can do. If you provoke, you will get attacked. You spare me. You've captured this gnome dozens of times. I do think I have the upper hand, especially if he cares anything for this Shirley. Funny. I have to get back to work soon. This has been a long trip, Billy. And it's gonna be even a longer trip back empty-handed. I'm tired of playing games, Billy. So tired. There you are! I thought for a minute we was playing a game of peekaboo. No. This is no game. Quite the contrary. Boo. Where is he? I, I was looking for Billy. No, 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 no. You know exactly what I'm talking about. We know that the gnome has found its way back to your home. I want to know where you're hiding him. The gnome? You're here for the gnome. So my dreams were true. What dreams? I've been having these dreams about a man. A full-grown man named Quank that looks exactly like the gnome I remember. He said he was coming home. I never would have dreamed my dreams were real. So, where is he? The gnome version, not the man. I don't know. My dreams always ended with him. In my bedroom, under the bed. He's not under the bed. Not in the closet either. Hey. <laughs> 
has Mommy said about attacking Mommy's house, kids? What happened? He was so sweet and innocent the last time he was with you. Was I the one who may have corrupted him? <gasps> Mother? No! <laughs> Please! Somebody help me! I can't let this happen to my mother! Uh, don't worry, hon. He's just playing. All he's gonna do is prop her up in the corner, tie her up, and write some stuff on her oh face. God, he's already done it to her. The mailman, the neighbor's dog, and... I think that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's done this for how long? I thought you had no knowledge of his return. Oh, it was only for his protection, silly. I might be fibbing a little. He's been back for a few days now. The dreams were real, though. He was preparing me for his return. He's a lot more mature than he was back then. And more handsome. I like how he protects me now. <laughs> what did you do to him? Feed him a midnight snack? Oh, look at the time. I gotta go, sweetie. Sorry about your leg. I won't have any time patching it up. You weren't gonna try to take him away from me again, are you? You know what? I came here for revenge. And after seeing the way he has handled the two women, I've grown to despise more than anyone else in this life, especially after this road trip. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure after all we've been through, John would... Oh, my dear sweet Neptune, I forgot about John! want to go camping with you. <laughs> Don, Don, what else? Number two, I don't ever want to meet anybody you know. I don't know if that's possible. I've already told my mother about you. Oh, she can't wait to meet you. Billy, no. Come on. No. It'll be fun. No. <laughs> Billy! Ooh, you must be John! Uh, 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 it's nice to meet you, too! Uh, uh, I don't bring too much company around. In fact, I don't have a lot of friends. Okay, okay, okay! You can stop kissing me now! Uh, uh. Ooh! I think she likes you. Billy!
night, friend. Don't let the bed bugs bite. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh.